broad daylight, Beverly Hills, you're working inside, you got your jewelry store open, what happens? So they come in, did they come in through there? They actually did not come in the store, they just broke the front glass window and the front showcase window. Oh, they just And they just right started, here. yeah, they grabbed one of these whole trays that was on that side, they were just grabbing everything. There were um, six people. Six people. Just grabbing. And they got how much? A lot. Millions. Millions. Right? Millions. I can't imagine a place where a business owner would feel any safer in all of Southern California. Southern California, the United States. You're this on, is Be Beverly you're on Hills. Beverly in Beverly Hills. Yeah. I, I can't fathom feeling much safer than that. And this happens in the middle of the day. What what led to this? Because a lot of people are getting arrested and they get released within a week or two. It's They're not prosecuting people. Decriminalizing everything. The quality of life, the crime in California. Um, wh wh where do you think this is headed? At least in Beverly Hills, I think it's getting a little bit better. Uh, if you see, there's more police out. They hired a private security firm, I think called NASDAQ. Uh, Mass tech or something. Sure. You see the cars driving by, you see their patrols. Uh, there's like every time I look out, you'll see rather police officer, the private security. So it is getting a tad better here, but yeah. uh, overall, I don't know. The phrase defund the police yeah. exploded in this country. Yeah. Uh, as you know, I, I think there was this big push. I, I think it was for political reasons. I think they wanted to win the election, and this is how they stirred it up, and this is how a very divisive phrase like that teach people that police are the most dangerous part of no, society. we need the police. You need the police. Yeah, of course. I mean, how, and, and, and we're seeing now uh, the fruits of that narrative yeah. over the last couple yeah, of years. Absolutely. What happened to your store is a perfect example of that. We, we used to leave the front door open. Yeah. Because we have no windows to, just to get air, we leave it open, we, no, we're never worried about anything. Now, I'm a, it, when the door opens and closes, I'm afraid. Someone yeah. could come, come in and do something, it's crazy. I mean, what do you say to the people that are leading your city and are leading the state? There needs to be change. There definitely needs to be change. What the, what, how does that start? How does that happen? I, I, I wish I knew. Do you question the business that you're in? Do you, do you I mean, it's, it's like, I, I feel like, it's almost like after you get into a car accident. Once that's happened to you, you there must be like, a, almost like a PTSD about there, it. Like, there I mean, is, you, there still is, and, yeah. and, and especially my employees too, it was for a while, especially yeah. because of the sound, of, it sounded like gunshots, it really did. Right. So, yes, no, as, once again, we don't keep the door closed. I'm carrying, so it's, it's, a, whole, gun. Yep. it's, a, whole, it's a whole different thing. You know, I, I love my business. I love what I do, but it's a, it's a scary time for what, what I'm doing. We walked in, you had a gun on your waist. Yeah. Uh, I, that's not very usual to see. No, I, I, I've been in this store, I think, since 2007. We've had stores in Beverly Hills since 1995. Never had to carry. I was never worried about it. Never had I get all my employees' guns, too. They don't like that in California. No, they don't. <laughs> That's they not don't. something they're really no, crazy about. No, yeah, it's a family business, so you don't, I'm got to protect my family. Does that calm you a little bit just to have that? Yes and no. You know, I'm yeah. not a violent person. I don't want to use it, but if I have to protect my family, I will. What happened to the guys that robbed your store? There were six of them, right? There were six of them. They arrested four of them just a couple weeks ago. Just a couple weeks yeah. ago. Does it look like there's going to be justice served? For three of them, yeah. One of them was a juvenile. I think they already let him out. The election's coming up in a month. You're yeah. a month away from an election. Yeah. What do you want to see happen in that election? Change. So like, <laughs> I don't like to get political, but there needs to be change. There needs to be change. Yeah. Something has to wake yeah. these people yeah. up. Yeah, especially the DA. How's it looking in his election? You think they can get him out? I think so. I, everyone I talk to, everyone, you know, without even me asking, they bring him up. Yeah. Can you, could you believe when, when, when the narrative of defunding the police, of softening on crime, decriminalizing all these, I think they just decriminalized things like jaywalking. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the idea that that's going to lead us to a better society, can, can you fathom believing that? So jaywalking, that I agree with, yeah, that's fine. fine. But yeah, but, but, yeah, but no, it's especially harsher crimes, it's, uh, it's ridiculous.